Hey animators and welcome to On The Go, a series where I show you short but useful my animator tips within 5 minutes. Today I'm doing sword trails, let's begin. So sword trails are easy, all you gotta do is add a sword, iron, and I just wanna animate the sword real quick. Alright, I made this little swing animation. All you need to do now is to make a good sword trail is go on Google, type in sword trail, click tools, color, transparent. Now bras for something like this seems pretty cool. Let's try sword swing, sword trail, texture, just bras a little bit, that's what I also do. There's not much to work with, sheesh. Might as well have to draw on myself. Sword swing texture, how about that? <laughs> Fine, I'll use this one. Doesn't give me much choice. This is one of the textures you never find. But what I don't like is this picture being unaligned. So I'm gonna open it up in paint.net so I can do some modifications. Select this, turn it around until the bottom line is completely flat. There we go. Now add a surface, give it a texture, lock it onto your sword, flip it around like this, scale it up, position it in place. And now what's also important is you mess with the rotation point. So the rotation point is going to be exactly where this starts because I'm gonna scale it out from here and like this. Now until this point, I don't really want this to be visible. So I'm gonna, oops, that's the item, my bad. Until this point, I want it to be visible so I can scale down the Y. Now I just messed with the keyframes of the item. I'm stupid. There we go, brain fart. I can animate it scaling up and until this point just scales back down. If I want, I can add some dynamics such as ease out, ease in. So it looks like this. And you could always just, you know, give it a brightness of 100% so it feels like a legitimate sword slash. It works better with quick motion. This sword is not fast enough. Let me change that up a little bit. Like this. That's way better. If you want to go an extra mile, click cast shadows off. That's not going to cast shadows on the sword. Make it glow, only render glow. Bring the glow color down. Actually, let's not make it only render glow, just like that. So it is glowing and that's it. Sword trails. Easy and fun. Now I know some people get confused with image editing and whatnot, so I'll put the sword trail texture in the description. I'll put two, heck. Now thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, drop a like on this video and hit the bell for more content. Show me some love, guys. Now with that on the side, thank you for watching and stay sharp.